Governor Nisam Waik of Rivers has revealed how Don Wani, the notorious cult leader who was killed recently for allegedly masterminding the death of about 19 people on New Year Day in the state, planned another attack before his death. Waik spoke on Viewpoint, a program on Rhythm FM in Port Harcourt saying the cult leader planned a new attack before he was fished out by security agencies. He also denied ever sponsoring Don Wani as had been alleged by some people just as he further denied ever buying a gun for anybody to carry out criminal activities or support him during elections. I have never bought weapons for anyone to support me to win elections. I worked with a Mackey to win two elections, I didn't buy guns. It is nonsensical to allege that I will buy guns to win my elections. You don't learn left hand in old age. If at the time I emerged local government chairman I did not buy guns and as director general of a Mackey campaign, I did not buy guns, why should I buy guns now? He asked. He further said, Don Wani planned a second attack. It was to kill more than 200 persons. I thank God that we tracked him down and averted the tragedy. Wyke also said he proposed the neighborhood watch in the state with input from the security agencies. It was debated before it was conceptualized. They will support security agencies with information. Let's give this idea an opportunity to succeed. They can't prosecute or detain suspects. They hand over suspects to the police. So there is no reason for people to be apprehensive. If we do not work in synergy with security agencies, how would we have gotten Don Wani? Whether we like it or not, it is incumbent on us to play our own part on security, he added. We earlier reported how the Inspector General of Police, IGP, Ibrahim Idris, formed a joint police investigation team to capture the notorious cult leader, Don Wani, and his gang who masterminded the murder of innocent people in Rivers State on Monday, January 1. The committee comprises the Intelligence Response Team, the Force Criminal Intelligence and Investigation Department. Force Department of Operations and the Rivers State Police Command to arrest and unravel the culprits and make them face justice.